Hello, this is Becky Jubert. Welcome to TweetDeck, a short tutorial on how to use its many features. The first thing that you'll want to do to try out TweetDeck is to go and download it. Up here, you'll see at TweetDeck.com. It is currently in public beta. And today, April 9th, is the first day of the new version that you can download. It's got a lot of new features and I will show you around. Go ahead and click right here, download now. It is free. It works with all computers, and I'll give you a second to download everything that you need. Uh, come back, and then I'll meet you on TweetDeck. Here we are back on TweetDeck. You should have your system all installed. It will say the version that you have right here. Currently, it's 0.25. And I do want to show you around. One of the first things you may notice is that TweetDeck is a little dark. And so, if you would like to change the appearance, I'll take you there first so that you can customize TweetDeck the way that you want it. You'll come up here to this little wrench that says Settings, so click there. Box will open, and you have lots of different choices to make. One of the first ones that you might want to make on the General Settings tab is the notifications. Which notifications do you wish to receive? whether you'd like it to play a sound or not. After you use TweetDeck for a while, you'll be able to determine that you're, for yourself whether you like those sounds or not, and you can change it here or include it by play notification sound with the check or uncheck and what notifications that you'd like to include right here. You can get used to all of these uh, changes that you can make. You can play around with them, but right now we're going to go straight to colors and fonts and make some changes here. One of the first changes that I'll make is for the primary background color. And if you click on that right there, it'll bring up a color box that you can choose from. And I'm going to go with white. Uh, sometimes when you do this, you're not sure exactly what's going to change. And I noticed that what I wanted to change did not. It changed this outside area. So I'll, I'll go back and change that. The secondary background color um, I'll change it to white. I really like this to be a lot brighter than it is. Okay, that helped a lot right there. I'm going to go back to the primary background color and make it actually a little darker because there are some things that I'd like to emphasize. So I'm going to change that to a gray and I will show you in a minute but you'll notice that down here you can read some of the writing much better now. I'll also go and change the input background color to a gray as well. That will help, and then I'll change the text color. Right now it's white and it's not showing up. I'll change it to a strong contrast. I'll make that blue. Notice immediately that makes a nice change. And then the secondary text color, it will be this writing that barely shows up right there. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker, secondary text color. I'll change it to black. Okay, there it's changed and I'll go ahead and save my settings right here. Okay, So that to me is a lot brighter, a lot easier to read. You can change it the way that you like it. One of the first things that I'll show you is where you actually tweet. Be this first little icon right here in the list. When you click on that, you'll have a drop down box that will open up and you'll be able to type. Now, this may be a little bit dark still, so I'll go up here again to Settings. This is what I mean by playing around with this the way that you'd like it. Go to Colors and Fonts, and that'll be the input area background color, and I will lighten it up just a little more. There, I think that made the change that I wanted. Save. And now I can safely type my tweet here and send it by either pressing Enter on my keyboard or clicking this right there. You can do that two different ways. One of the new changes that you'll notice about TweetDeck, if you've been using it for a while and you'd like to learn to know how to use it better and that's why you're here, is that as of today, they have integrated it with Facebook so that now you can choose whether you want your tweets to be just in Twitter or if you have a Facebook account, you can have them integrated with it here by checking that box and then your tweets will show up as status updates in your Facebook account if you'd like to kill two birds with one stone. 
Okay, one of the things that you'll notice first about TweetDeck is that basically you're going to be looking most of the time at three major columns. And you can rearrange them in any order. There will be a little arrow right here that allows you to move your columns around so that you can have them in the order that you want. And there are also more columns that will show you. But most of the time you'll have three showing. And this is how it arrives to you. You'll have all friends to the left. And all the people that you follow, their status updates and their tweets will be shown here. In the middle will be replies. So you can now make a decision whether you want your tweets to show up in just Twitter or show up as status updates in your Facebook account as well. And replies will be the middle column here and these will be the people that are replying back to you. Your replies will not show here. You'll have to go to your Twitter account to look at your replies if you'd like to review them. And the third column is the direct message column. So these will be all the direct messages that you send as well as the ones that are coming through to you. Whereas the reply column is only the replies that are coming in to you. Now to review the different functions, you'll go up to these little icons across the top. They are very tiny. The first one that we looked at, remember, is Tweet. And if I click it, then it will collapse that Tweet box back again. The second is All Friends. By clicking that, the column will appear, and the column is already here. The third is Replies, which is our second column. And the fourth is Direct Messages, which is our third column. Now to go past that point, you'll have to be able to view other columns. And the way that you'll do that is a very difficult to see slide bar that you click on right there along the bottom of your columns and slide back and forth. And this is where we'll see other columns. So I'll move it back over here in this direction. And this is actually the fourth column showing up here. 